Hello everyone, my name is Sand, and in today's video I want to talk to you about the current state of Necromancer in Diablos 4 second beta weekend. So the last weekend for the beta just finished, we are now in the wait period before the release of the full game. The Necromancer for me was the final character that I had to give a proper try, and it ended up ended up being one of my favorite fairly quickly. First and foremost, if we were to talk about the current state of the classes in the beta in terms of damage, and scale that damage equally into the endgame, Necro would probably be pretty overtuned, and it would probably need some damage adjustments, or all the other classes would need to be brought up to match them. I've seen this opinion shared around quite a lot, and it's fairly easy to notice, especially if you played some of the other classes. However, since these are only low-level characters, I do think we should wait until we can play the full game and test some of the end-game uh, characters before we give a full opinion so we can have a clearer picture about it. Now to talk about Necromancer properly, starting right away with a class mechanic, which I do think for Necromancer specifically it makes sense to talk about right away, you get access to your class mechanic, the Book of the Dead, at level 5. Technically you have summon skeletons from level 1, but you cannot modify them until level 5, which is what the Book of the Dead does. In my opinion, it is a great mechanic and allows you to change your summons to cater to a vast amount of playstyles and builds, as well as a minionless playstyle if you are so inclined. The skills for the Necromancer are almost all in a great state, and there is a variety of playstyles that you can play with this class. In my opinion, throughout my testing, both Bone Necro and Blight Necro felt pretty solid at the current cap, while Minion Necro and what I'm calling Vampire Necro felt incredibly powerful and very very fun to play. Some of the skills that I didn't enjoy much were the curses. Uh, they felt to me pretty underwhelming to use, especially Iron Maiden. It never felt like it did enough damage to justify a spell slot in your bars, unfortunately. And they aren't particularly interesting either, in my opinion. I would hope there's some interaction with curses later down the line that makes them interesting and cool to use, but as of right now, that is not the case in my opinion. Another skill that I didn't enjoy to use much was Army of the Dead, surprisingly. Uh, I expected it to summon a ton of minions, but sadly it only summoned a, f a few, and they all they did was walk up to a target and explode, and despawn immediately. When, when you have a skill called Army of the Dead, expect it to summon a bunch of undead minions and they stay with you for a while at least. In my mind anyway, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. For the future of Necromancer currently, in terms of build variety, there is a lot of cool stuff that could come out of Necro. The blood package, in my opinion, has a couple of interesting ideas. One of them being an Overwhelm build, there's a couple of nodes that seem to interact with it, but it, it doesn't feel fully fleshed out currently. But more interesting to me is that there are some nodes that interact with your percentage of life current. So if you're healthy, it does something. If you are uh, low life, it could does, do something else. And I hope they iterate in this mechanic later down the line, because it's it sounds like a really, really interesting playstyle that is not in any other class where an Overwhelm build already exists in Druid and to an extent in a Barbarian as well. Blight Necro is also an interesting playstyle, focusing on area of effect dots, which is pretty unique for the most part to Necromancer right now. I will say because it's an area of effect on the floor, there's quite a few bosses that become very tricky to fight because they move around a lot, then Mother jumps to mine right away. Also, 
Bone Necro exists is mostly a on-a-hit playstyle, revolving mostly around crit. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward, but I do enjoy that the projectiles from Bone Splinters can shotgun and allows you to capitalize on correct uh, positioning throughout the fight. That felt pretty cool. Finally, we have the poster child for Necromancer build, Minions. I think for the most part it's a very cool playstyle they have here in D4, a bit different from what we had previously in other iterations of the game. In particularly the fact that summon skeletons actually has a purpose outside of just summoning skeletons, and then you forget about the skill entirely, I like it. It leads to a more active playstyle using the priest version of the skill, as well as golem having both a passive and an active skill and allowing you to, whenever you're in danger, you can use it to taunt things around you and actually take a active stance in your defensives as well. I really enjoy it. Also, there's a, another build, especially if you've been watching some D4 content recently, I'm sure you've seen it, the Blood Mist build is almost everywhere right now. A bunch of content creators talking about it. I, I will not cover this, as I really don't expect this build to exist for any amount of time after this beta. I assume they're gonna patch that and remove it essentially, because any build that gives you nearly permanent immunity while damaging enemies just doesn't have space to exist in any video game, really. Immunities are not something that should be given out lightly, and this will probably be removed. The interaction, that is. I'm sure the skill will stay. To wrap it, I think Necromancer is in a phenomenal place right now. Not because of its high damage, which is there, but most importantly because of the great playstyle and diverse playstyles as well that the class has to its current core. Skills look great, in particularly some of the blood skills are my favorite in the game right now. They feel and sound very punchy and impactful, and it's been great fun to play with. And yeah, that's the current state of Necromancer in my personal opinion. With that said, I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.